Good day to everybody, my name is Viola from Eco Botanic and sitting right here next to me is Professor Christopher Baldwin from Newcastle University. Good morning Viola, it's really lovely to be here this morning. Professor Baldwin, can you share with us a little bit history of your university and why the decision was made to open a campus in Malaysia? The, the university started here 11 years ago, although the decision was made slightly before that. The original decision to come to Malaysia was to provide affordable, high quality UK education in medicine for Malaysian students, but also for students across the ASEAN region. But having said this, what are the main courses do you offer here in Newcastle University? So the three courses that we offer here, we offer medicine, which is a five-year course, biomedical science course, and then we have a foundation in science, which we introduced about four or five years ago now, and the foundation in science will allow you to study our programs here in Malaysia or to go on to the UK. What are the teaching methods implemented here? Is it any difference from the one that you have done it in UK? We teach in exactly the same way as the UK. We believe that sometimes we go to UK to study and we get accredited like degree in mm -hmm. UK and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So are, are they locally or internationally accredited? So our medicine degree is accredited by both the Malaysian Medical Council, but it's also accredited by the General Medical Council, which is the UK Medical Council. Our, actually, our medical degree is also accredited throughout the world. Effectively, is when you graduate from our medicine degree, you can go into practice in Malaysia or you could go into practice in the UK. But of course, I do see that there are a lot of international students here. So where do most of your students hail from and why do they decide to come to Edu City in Iskandar, Malaysia? Well, I think we have now about, it's at least 20, if not 30 different nationalities here oh. with students. So we've got a lot of, uh, of students from, from all over the world. And I think one of the advantages of a small campus is people should interact with international students. And I think people do, especially on the medical degree, people work together, they interact well, they, they, they really get to know each other. Um, there are students across from different countries here because they feel it's safe. It's a safe environment here in, 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 in Edu City, but also in, in, in Johor Bahru. It's very safe um, and, and I would always advise students to come here. Of course, nice weather, nice uh -huh. food, nice uh -huh. environment and all, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So being one of the most mature township in the robust area here, so how has Eco Botanic complements to your student here? But I think Eco Botanic has developed terrifically over the last um, three or four years. There's now plenty of um, eating spaces, there's plenty of cafes, place, plenty of places to meet so students can get out about and they can interact really, really well on the site. And also maybe to develop, um, students like to go out and do the things like um, biking, they go out to do things like adventure things. So, so if there was those facilities to do those around the region, that that would be much better. But I think really there is now an awful lot of things to do here with Eco Botanic and, uh, and the developments there and with the development of the new um, shopping centre, the new mall that will be there soon, that, that will be really good. And so, so it gives a huge amount of things for our students to do in the evening and, and get on to do. So that's really, really good. So you think that that could enhance the lifestyle needs of your students here? Right? Yes, I, I, I think when, whenever a student comes somewhere, they have to look at where they're going to live and they have to look at where they're going to study. If they like where they study, that's good. But if they don't like where they live, they won't stay. So by having the two hand in hand, which I think Eco Botanic and Eco World put together really, really well, is that those two things together will encourage someone to come here and, and actually stay here and to study here and actually to succeed here. Okay, so we do believe that Eco Botanic also do provide shuttle bus services to your student here. How do you think that complements to your student lifestyles here? So by having the buses that makes life very much better for the students and very much easier for to travel. And so to have that arrangement with Eco World and Eco Nest to have the buses is really important for us. Being a student myself, Professor Baldwin, I believe that the cost of living is like one of the major factors of my considerations if I wanted to decide where I'm going to go for studies. So could you share with us a little bit about the cost of living per month for one student studying at the Edo City Iskandar Malaysia? Okay, um, I think yeah, I, I think that's very true. There, there's two things that the parents, maybe less so their, their, their children, want to think about is, is obviously the quality of the education and we have the quality of the education here, but then also the cost of living. The accommodation here, I would say, in Eco Botanic is probably better than the UK. The students will all have access to a swimming pool. Wow. Obviously, the weather is much more beautiful here, so outside swimming is much, much, much more easier than, than swimming in the UK in the cold. They also have access to a gym. 
they also have uh, access to a range of different meeting rooms. And the, so the facilities at the Eco Botanic are all very, very new and they're all very, very, they're, they're excellent. I remember when I first went and I had to look at the, the facilities to actually see if we would use them and, uh, and they were fantastic. So we, we say to our students, it's about 2,000 ringgits a month um, for living here in Malaysia. If you were in the UK for the same uh, for, for a same month, it would be about four thousand ringgits a month. That's what we would say. But how do you think the securities are like? If let's say they were to stay up late mm -hmm. in the library and they would have to go back to Econess quite late or so. Mm -hmm. So what do your student think about the security around here? Well, I think. Firstly, we have security on campus, so we have very strong and good security on campus, but also Ecobotanic has, has excellent security. So, so we have our own dedicated staff who look after our students, but Ecobotanic and, uh, and EcoWorld have security on site in, in, in EcoWorld. And the feedback that I get from my students is that they feel very safe. We're indeed thrilled to know that Ecobotanic actually implements in the lifestyle needs of the students mm -hmm. in Ado City here and right here. So I guess that's all for our interview session for today. And thank you so much, Professor Baldwin, okay. for your time, for taking your time out uh -huh. with us. And we look forward to our future collaboration uh -huh. and to see more youngsters roaming around Ecobotanic. I'm sure that I, I, as we continue to develop, we'll have more students and it, and it will develop more. I, I, and the whole area will develop much yes. better. Yes, we wish them the best of the very best and have a magical day ahead. Okay, right. thank you very much. Eco World, creating tomorrow and beyond.